Hi students, today I will discuss university wits. It is very important topic in the history of literature for the students who are uh, studying English honors and English MA. So uh, I am giving a brief disc description or a brief lecture in this topic about university wits. It is not possible uh, through a short video, YouTube video, to go into detail. Actually, university wits are the pre Shakespearean dramatist, a group of pre Shakespearean dramatist. They are jointly called university wits. They are among them, Christopher Marlowe is the most famous name. Christopher Marlowe, then comes the name Thomas Kidd, John Lilly, Greeny, Peely, Nash. They are jointly called university wits. They were writing during the 16th century before Shakespeare. Now the question that is arising in our mind or in your mind that why they are called university wits. It is because that they, these dramatists, actually they were all dramatists. Christopher Marlowe, Thomas Kidd, Greeny, Lily, Peely. They were all dramatists and they were all educated either from Oxford University or from Cambridge University. Either from Oxford University or from Cambridge University. That's why they are jointly called University Wits. Remember. But there is one exception. Thomas Kidd was not a university man. Yet he was placed among the University Wits. And these University Wits, they paved the way for Shakespeare. Shakespeare was greatly influenced by these university wits and their works. Now think about Christopher Marlowe. Christopher Marlowe in his drama, most particularly in Dr. Foster's, he has presented that in a tragedy, not only destiny but also the character is responsible for the downfall of a tragic protagonist. And this idea is presented in all the Shakespearean tragedies, be it Hamlet or Macbeth or King Lear or Othello. And this idea was borrowed from Christopher Marlowe. So Shakespeare was indebted to Christopher Marlowe. Now Thomas Kidd. Thomas Kidd was famous for his revenge tragedy. In English literature, he first presented the revenge tragedy, a kind of tragedy in which the revenge is the main theme. And his great tragedy is the Spanish tragedy. And if you read Shakespeare's Hamlet, it is the Hamlet is totally modeled upon the kid's Spanish tragedy. The storyline, the main skeleton of the drama of Spanish tragedy and Hamlet are same. So here we can again say that Shakespeare was greatly indebted to Thomas Kidd in his regarding his revenge tragedy. Now think about Lily. Lily was famous for his comedy. In this comedy, Shakespeare borrowed many devices from Lily and also Greeny. And for these reasons, for these reasons, Greeny, the university wits, who commented about Shakespeare out of jealousy, out of jealousy, he commented about Shakespeare that he is an upstart crow. 
beautiful with our feathers. He commented about Shakespeare that he is an upstart crow, beautiful with our feathers. We can say that it is the comment was done out of uh, jealousy. So whatever it it is, but Shakespeare was greatly influenced by university wits. University wits were a group of pre-Shakespearean dramatists who were either educated from Cambridge or from a Oxford University. There was one exception that is Thomas Kidd and Christopher Marlowe is the most famous name among the university wits. And they wrote before uh, Shakespeare in the Elizabethan period. That means they were writing during the 16th century. So this is all about uh, university weights. This is a very brief discussion. But um, I believe that it will be helpful for the students and those who are preparing for NET, SLED and other competitive exams. If you want to contact with me, if you want to join my coaching class, you can call me. My, num my mobile number is 7602167717. Again, my mobile number is 7602167717. My coaching class is in Durgapur in Sepko Township you can join my class that's all bye